Hi everyone, this is Oscar from Underdog. Today we want to do something just for the beginners. We're going to program a super basic house loop, just the basic beat of house music. We're going to program it in two different ways, one in MIDI, one in audio. We're going to do it all in Ableton Live and we're going to do it super quickly. Let's get into it. So we're in Ableton and here are the four first channels that you're going to see in Arrangement View. Two MIDI channels, two audio channels. First we're going to focus on the MIDI channels. We're all going to do everything in one MIDI channel so we can delete the second one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Ableton's drums settings here and we're going to choose the 808 core kit. The 808 drum machine is a classic old school drum machine. Its, its sounds are iconic. You've heard them a thousand times before. And so if you don't know where to start with programming drums, then the 808 is a great place to start. Once you've dragged that into the bottom side here, you see this drum machine has opened up and all these things are different, as have different sounds on them per pad. So there's a kick, a rim, a snare, a clap, a clave, a tom, a hi-hat, etc., etc. A whole bunch of them. You can get familiar with all of them. It's very good to know them. But for now, we're gonna just focus on three main ones. The kick, the clap, and the hi-hat. These are the three elements that really make up the core of any house loop, okay? If you drag in the top of your of the gray bar here, you can zoom in to an area on your timeline. You can select the length of one bar. That's the difference between one number here. So between five and six, for instance, select one bar. That's what that's called. And then right click and do loop selection. Perfect. And now again, you can select this area, right click and do insert MIDI clips. Boom. This will now give you a layout here at the bottom where all of these sounds are laid out along the keyboard. And if this little blue thing is enabled, you can click. Way there we go. All of the sounds are right there. So if we want to program a house beat, the safest thing to do is to right click here and change our grid to the size of sixteenths. See, that's all those horizontal divisions right there. Change it to sixteenths. With sixteen notes, you can do pretty much anything. And where it says one, you drop a kick. Where it says 1.2, you drop a kick. Where it says 1.3, you double click again and make a kick. And 1.4, double click and make a kick. Now that we've got this loop here, you can go one, two, three, four. That's four kick drums in every bar, which is called the four on the floor kick drum pattern, which just, it's the most basic formula in house, techno, disco, anything like that. So one, two, three, four. And then the secret here is to make a clap sound. Oops, let's turn that on. A clap sound every second kick drum. So there and there. So let's see what that sounds like. All right, we're very close to being done. We're very close to being done. Then the one extra thing in the classic house loop is where you take a hi-hat. That's either an open hi-hat or a closed hi-hat. The closed one is just shorter than the open one. For today, we're just gonna use the, the closed one. And we place it halfway between two kicks. So that would be here where it says 1.1.3 and 1.2.3 and 1.3.3 and 1.4.3. So when we hit play, there we go. That's what we were going for. That is the core of any house rhythm. You can add other drums to this, but it's not necessary. This is the core to get you started making a house music. You can then add a bass line, add some chords, add some instruments, add some synthesizers, add some vocals, uh, you name it. All you got to do is stretch the loop out for as long as you want and suddenly you're creating a song, okay? Now let's move on and do the same thing in audio. So to do this in audio, I'm going to disable the MIDI channel and we're going to use these audio channels here. We're going to drag samples onto them. To make this beat in audio, we need a good sample library. Now I can recommend Gold Baby as a company who make excellent sample packs. Uh, so you can buy very good quality samples on their website. Otherwise, find some free samples online. There are many, many sources. In this case, 
there's a sample pack that actually has the 808 drum hits that we used there, but it, it has them in audio file, so all different variations of the same sound with different like distortion effects and stuff on them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna mimic this pattern with audio. So you can see these notes here, right? We're gonna do the exact same thing with audio. So let's choose this as our drum, our kick drum, and we select this area and we can hold down control and drag it over. Or we can do right click, copy and paste. Or we can select this area and do duplicate, which is gonna put it right next to it, right there. So you get one, two, three, four, an identical sound, which corresponds with this note, this note, this note, and this note. You see there's a grid here as well, these vertical lines. Just for our own mental health, we're gonna put those to 16th notes as well. 16th notes is a very comfortable place to be. You can do a lot. You don't. You rarely have to go much larger or smaller than that, okay? Let's rename our tracks, because that's always a good idea. So that's our kick drum. Let's add our clap. I'm going to scroll down, find the sample, clap. Perfect. Every second, every second kick. Now, notice how this one has this really long tail. It's not a big problem. We can just copy it over, and it'll replace the old sound. There can only be one sound playing at any given moment, so we've just overwritten the end. We've just cut off the end of that sound. Now, this is a, a sound that gets cut off here. We probably don't want that. So we can do a tiny little bit of audio editing by pulling this in here and putting a fade on it. When you hover over a clip, you see these four squares? You can put a little fade on there, so it's going to naturally tail off. Let's listen to that in context. You see how the audio here is long and here it kind of fades out quicker? It's kind of cool because it gives each clap its own character. It kind of makes it feel like tick, tock, tick, tock. So it's not twice the identical sound being played. One is a variation on the other, but a subtle variation. So the audience will just feel that something is pushing and pulling but it won't notice those as being two different sounds. So that's really good. Now let's add another audio track. I did that by doing Control T. You can do Command T or right click and do Insert Audio Track. And I'm going to rename that. I'm going to call that the Hi Hat. For the Hi Hats, we're going to do the same. We're going to we're going to place it in between the two kicks. So let's find ourselves a Hi Hat sample. Yeah, that's a good one. So what I would do is I would select this area and do Control D. You can do Command D, which duplicates it. Or you can click and drag holding down, I believe it's Option key on Mac, uh, but it's Control key on Windows. Or you can right click and do Copy and Paste. There we go, four identical hi-hats. And let's play this. There we go, and this is the core house beat in audio. Let's play it again in MIDI. Now let's play it again in audio. Cool, that was it. Excellent, and there we go. That was a little primer for absolute beginners on how to get started making a house beat in two different approaches. If you want to learn more of this stuff in a more structured course, dedicate some time to it, you can always sign up for one of our boot camps. Check it out on www.underdog.brussels. You can join us on our Discord channel, which will be linked into the description. And do make sure to subscribe to this channel. It really helps with the algorithm. Like the video, check out some of our other videos, and take care. Bye-bye. Would you like to try making electronic music? That's what we do at Underdog Electronic Music School, based in Brussels. We offer a program called the Bootcamp Program, which is designed for absolute beginners who want to start having fun making their own music, but who don't have experience yet doing that. We run online classrooms in small groups where you and a real teacher go through 12 classes where you see from A to Z how to make electronic music and how to start having fun. 
you can ask any questions at any moment and you can also focus on the genres and artists that you love so that you can start making the music that you're passionate about. Check out the details on www.underdog.brussels and get in touch for a test session or to sign up for one of the classes. So, until we hear from you, see you online.